would you have considered yourself an artist before all this YouTube stuff? Or do you think that was kind of your introduction into the creative journey? It was, it was probably my introduction because I, even now I don't really consider myself much of an artistic person. Um, like I, sure. I was never great at drawing, couldn't sing really. Um, music wise, I, I took some classes for some things, but I was never very good at it. So, I mean, that was, that became my creative outlet. Right. Um, once I started doing videos and then learning about video editing as I went along was pretty fun. Like, um, you'd, you'd learn about all these different effects and techniques you could use. And right. I'm still not a great video editor by any means, but it was really cool to just kind of grow up and learn that stuff on my own. Sure. Well, and it's, it's a fascinating medium because it's, it's, it's hard to find mediums that can combine that many genres into one piece, mm-hmm. like, uh, uh, both audio video, but then this, this sense of like post-production that's being added to it. Um, all with like immediate gratification of just rewinding 30 seconds and playing it back. Right. Yep. It's a, such a bizarre art form um, that I feel like you, it's tough to get those to scratch the same itch with other ones. And I think that's, what's kind of neat about editing yep. um, and just video making in general. Uh, and if you, if you weren't making uh, video essays, do you think you would have an urge to create something else now that you've done that? Like, cause you've definitely gone on breaks before too, right? Do you find yourself yeah. just really, <laughs> itching to get back to creating something oh man yeah i mean i'm always i always have ideas for things i'm always but i'm just very bad at (laughs) doing it you know like if i wasn't making like videos i'm I'm not sure if i'd really be doing much else uh creatively i can't think of anything else that i would like really want to do um so but you definitely feel the urge for video making specifically yeah it always comes up it always comes back like I'll take a break for a year, like maybe even more than a year at some point. And then I'll just get this itch. I'll be like, yeah, this is an idea I have. I really, really want to do it. Sure. So I'll get into it. And then there's always, there's always roadblocks along the way. Sure. With any project. I mean, anybody's going to have that, but you know, I always want to make something. I have a list, like I always keep a list of ideas as well. So I can always reference that right? just in case. So, and, and what, what kind of roadblocks do you typically run into? Like, do you run into more creative roadblocks or just like formal elements, like not having enough time or um, not having the space or something like that? Would you say it's more formal roadblocks or more mental creative roadblocks that you hit? For me, it's it's mostly writing. So I would say I would say mental. Uh, the, the great thing about, you know, going back to like early, early YouTube for me was we could just set up the tripod record the tv screen or whatever we did and just talk you know and a lot of people still do that it it was sort of like a let's play style video i used to do but it wasn't really let's play sure Um, but now i'm doing more you know um scripted content and writing was not always my forte so actually getting my thoughts into words has always been the issue for me when trying to come up with these videos so i would say the mental mental aspect of that is uh, is the part that gets to me, but it's like it's so weird because like one day I'll just sit down and then I I had like a paragraph written over a month and then one day right. I'll just sit down and then write the entire thing in yeah. one night. And Suddenly you like, got a novel. Yeah, what, it's what so happened? bizarre how that works. Yeah, yeah, I don't well, I don't know what it is. It, do you would you say that um that feels more like your art form then is in the writing process specifically like do you find the conception of the idea almost the most important part to your creative drive or would you say only when it all comes together do you really see it as like a piece essentially i think it's a little bit of both uh because yeah the the one once you see everything come together that's when you really really feel like you've made something Sure. Um, it's, sometimes it doesn't even happen until you like maybe add music to a video, right. something like that. I've, I've, I've gone into creating so many videos where I just think it's not great. Right. Like I have everything edited, all the footage, all my voiceover, everything sounds fine, but I just don't think it's great. And then I add music to it and the music yeah. just makes it pop. Right. Um, other times it's just like, you know, adding the footage on top. So 
it's it's a little bit of everything. I think the writing is definitely a big part of it, though, because once sure. you see everything and go through everything, start recording audio for it, you can kind of tell that it's right. flowing really well. Well, because I, I, I asked um, near Chris kind of a similar question, and he was saying that uh, essentially once the idea is outside of his head, he almost doesn't want to touch it anymore, right? Mm -hmm. um, he will edit it because he has to as a means of getting the idea out there, but he sees this idea or this this script that he makes as that's the actual art. Everything else is just a vehicle of getting it out there, right? Um, and he said he doesn't even like to watch his videos because of that, because he wants to move on to like the next idea. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess I'm just curious, like... Uh, the, while the scripting might be the, the the toughest part to kind of get started for you, um, is there any other aspect of video making that you feel uh, that you almost value more than scripting in a way or coming up with that idea? That's the biggest part for me, the scripting, for sure. Because after gotcha. that's done, I can knock out a video within a week. Right. I can get everything done really quickly. Like I, I've tried to stray away a lot from like super highly edited videos as well. So even the editing process itself hasn't has kind of taken a back seat in terms of the creative aspect sure. of it. Like I'll I'll add some things here and there, but I, I try to make the words uh, right be mostly what I'm talking about in, in a video, and and kind of the footage speaks for itself, you know. Sure. Well, and, and to kind of touch on um, when you're mentioning like uh, uh, just trying to phrase yourself correctly when writing or whatnot, do, is do you think that you ultimately articulate yourself better through writing um, as opposed to maybe more free form discussion like this. Like, uh, do you find yourself more effective when you're uh, behind a script basically? Absolutely. Yeah. If, if I tried to go into a video and doing like a free form style thing where I just talk sure. off the top of my head, it would be a jumbled mess. Right. Totally. Um, there would be, there'd be no way I could like, correctly articulate my thoughts on something without actually right. writing a script and i always have to go back and like watch footage that i recorded or something like that and be like oh yeah i remember this part i got to talk about this um and sometimes i'll obviously i'll take notes about that like which part sure. of the, the footage that's in so yeah it, it'd be very very tough for me to like actually do something free right. form well and especially it's... without the sorry especially without the help of like another person there like i used right. to do Hey there. You just watched a clip from my creative podcast. If you'd like to check out the full episode as well as other episodes as soon as they come out, you can support me over on Patreon for the $3 tier, or you can just subscribe here and wait for clips and podcast episodes to come out eventually.